For some reason today, I was really inspired to start a Saudi Arabian career mode, and I thought some of you guys might be interested in doing one too, but not really know how to start. So today we're talking about the Saudi Arabian Pro League. I'll give you why you should play in this league. I'll give you who to use in the league, some creative club ideas, how to keep it fun, what kind of things you should be aiming for, the real league rules if you want to follow those, and finally some signing suggestions. So let's get started straight away with why you should play in this league. So there's a couple of strengths that the Saudi Pro League that has that no other league has. So they're in the Asian Champions League and the best teams in this league are always the favourites on FIFA to win the Champions League. If you've never played in this competition, this is a great opportunity of doing so. Surprisingly, the league also has some really good teams. So these teams are equivalent to the Upper Championship or the MLS, the very top level of the MLS sort of teams. They're in the 70s to 79 overalls on average. Really good experience. You're not going to be playing slugging along with really bad teams like you would in somewhere like India. They're also a rarely used league, so it's a good chance to experience something new on FIFA. There's not going to be too many other opportunities where you're going to be inspired to play with Saudi Arabia, so now is the time if you want to do it. And finally, the biggest strength and the most unique thing about this league is how big the transfer budgets are. Almost every team has a huge amount of millions and millions to spend, so you can strengthen your team exactly however you want. But the league isn't perfect, there are some weaknesses. There's actually no national team on the unmodded version of FIFA, there's not really that many real faces in the league, and there's also only one stadium that's in the league as well. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then maybe the Saudi Arabian League is one for you to miss. If you're still inspired to continue with your Saudi Arabian adventure, then let's have a talk about who you should be using for your save. If you watch the national team at this World Cup, you'll know Al Hilal, and you'll know a lot of the players in this team play for the national team. They're one of the easiest clubs, along with Al Nassar and Al Ittihad. If you want a nice, easy save where you're in the Champions League to start with, and you're going to be going for the title from season one. If you want a slightly tougher save, have a look at Al Ittifaq, Al Tawoun, and Al Wadja, who are all a bit worse. They still have a lot of money, they still have some really good players, but you're probably going to need a season or two before you can build up and get to that title winning time. If you want a really difficult club though, have a look at Al Batan and Al Khalij. Al Batan are the worst team in the league by quite a distance. They have an average overall of 59, while Al Khalij are the second worst with an average overall of 64. Compare this to Al Hilal at the top, who have an average overall of 73, and you can see Al Batan is the ultimate Saudi road to glory. If you're interested in something other than a road to glory, maybe a creator club idea is perfect for you. So I'm going to recommend you recreate the Saudi national team. It's a pretty obvious one here. I don't know too much about any historic defunct teams in Saudi Arabia. So if you just recreate the national team, pretend that it's been allowed to play in the league like it has been in some other countries. Uh, try and sign only Saudi Arabian players. See if you can win the league with a fully domestic squad. And you can make it a little bit harder if you want by trying to restrict your squad to only under 21s. Say maybe you're the Saudi Arabian under 21 team that is allowed to play in this league. It'd be a fun idea and I think that's a pretty cool create the club idea. Now, if you want to try and keep it fun, there is a little bit of a restriction I like to impose on myself, which is keeping player overalls to a certain level. If you want to keep it very easy, if you're one of these top level clubs, maybe try and keep your players at under 78 overall. If you get an 80 rated Saudi player, they're probably going to head to Europe. If you're playing with a mid-table club, then I'd probably try and keep your players around 75 and then sell them to either one of the better clubs in the league or again, sell them to Europe. And if you're playing as a really difficult club and you want to keep it even harder, try and keep your player overalls under 70. This will be a really tough challenge, but as you progress up the league with your 70 rated players, then you can unlock 71, 72 and 73 rated players, depending on how generous you want to be with yourself. There are actually two real stadiums on the game, and Al Nassar and Al Shabab both have their real stadium in the game. I believe it is the same one, the King Fahd International Stadium. If you want some records to aim for, then I've got three for you right now. The all-time top scorer in the league ever was Majid Abdullah, who got 189 goals in just 194 games. This sounds like an insane challenge, so if you want to try and recreate this or try and go even further, maybe try and get 200 goals in less than 190 games, then that would be a super cool challenge, especially if you use like a youth academy prospect. The most league wins is Al Halal with 19, and there's only a couple of teams that you can actually beat this with in your career mode save, because we of course only get 15 years to do it. So if you want to try and beat Al Halal, then you're going to need to start with a team that's already won at least four titles. 
The most appearances in the league was by Mohamed al Dia, and he got 406. This is definitely possible in your career mode as well, so if you want to try and beat this record, that should be pretty easy for you to do. Now, the realistic league rules in Saudi Arabia are super easy to follow. Every team is allowed a maximum of 8 non-Saudi players, and you can't own more than 30 players at one time. The 8 foreign players can be from anywhere, with no restrictions on nation, continent or age. And if you want to try and sign some players realistically, then have a look at older players who are from mid-sized European teams. Some examples of these going to Saudi Arabia are Musa Morega who headed from Porto to Saudi Arabia, you've also got David Ospina the goalkeeper who moved from Napoli, and you've got Eva Menega who moved from Sevilla. So these kind of just off the periphery international teams, maybe Europa League teams, if they get a bit old then Saudi Arabia is a good place for them to move. Also have a look at young Brazilians and Argentinians who haven't quite moved to Europe just yet. So with Brazil League not being on the game it might be a bit tough but have a look at places like Shakhtar Donetsk or other Asian leagues where they're not going to be playing in mainland Europe. They have some good young Brazilians. The final place you should be looking is at other Asian nations. The best players from Korea, India and Australia would be happy to move to Saudi Arabia especially with the amount of money you can spend. So that's a good opportunity for you to strengthen your squad. And finally, the last thing we want to talk about is the Youth Academy, where you should be sending your scouts to Saudi Arabia, Africa and South American countries. Hopefully you have a fun save, and let me know if you decide to start a Saudi Arabian save in the comments below. But thank you all for watching, I'll see you soon, cheers and goodbye.